Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Good Friday. Um, I'm going to do the Stations of the Cross, and if you'd like to do them with me, I invite you to join me. If you're not familiar how to do it, I will put the words up so you can follow along with me. Um, we're going to be doing the Stations of the Cross. There are 14 stations, and we're going to start where Pilate condemns our Lord to die. We're going to go through all the way through until he was buried in the Holy Sepulcher. So, my friends, if you'd like to join me in the Stations of the Cross, we'll begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O my Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with unspeakable love, and I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I am sorry with all my heart, and because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me, but I want my Redeemer to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. Amen. O oh my God, my Redeemer, behold me here at thy feet. From the bottom of my heart I am sorry for all my sins, because by them I have offended thee, who art infinitely good, and I would rather die than offend thee again. The First Station Pilate Condemns Jesus to Die After being scourged and crowned with thorns, Jesus was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My Lord Jesus, it was not Pilate, but it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than I love myself with all my heart, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Second Station Jesus Accepts His Cross Jesus walking the road with a cross on his shoulders, thinking of us and offering to his Father on our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My Lord Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me until death. I beg you by all you suffered, carrying your cross to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Lord, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Third Station Jesus Falls the First Time Considering the first fall of our Lord, the loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. 
yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldiers struck him cruelly, he fell several times beneath the heavy cross. My Lord, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins, which made you suffer so much for me. By the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, and I am sorry I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Afflicted Mother Consider how the Lord met his mother Mary on the way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My Lord, my most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And to you, my queen, who is most overwhelmed with sorrow, Obtain for me by your prayer a tender and lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine Son. I love you, Lord, above all things, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fifth Station Simon helps carry the cross for our Lord. Jesus, at this point, was weak and weary, and at each step he was at the point of expiring. Fearing that he would die on the way to the cross, when they wished him to die on the cross, they forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as Simon did. I accept my cross and embrace it. I accept in particular the death that is destined for me with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death, Lord, and I offer it to you. You have died for love of me, and I would like to die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace, Lord. I love you, Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. 
the compassion of the holy woman Veronica. Seeing Jesus in such distress, his face bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the image of his sacred countenance. My Lord, your face was beautiful before you began the journey, but now it is disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have since disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time Considering the second fall of our Lord under his heavy cross, it would renew the pain of all the wounds of his head, arms, and legs, and body. My most gentle Jesus, how many times have you forgiven me, and how many times have I fallen again and begun to offend you? By the merits of this second fall, give me the grace to persevere in your love until death. Grant that in all my temptation, I may always have recourse back to you. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, and I am sorry I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Eighth Station, Jesus Speaks to the Women. The women were weeping with compassion as they saw Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus turned to them and said, Weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. My Lord, laden with sorrows, I weep for the sins which I have committed against you. Because of the punishment I deserve for them, and still more, because of the displeasure I have caused you, who have loved me with an infinite love. It is your love more than a fear of hell, which makes me weep for my sins. I love you, Lord, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls a Third Time Considering our Lord as he fell for the third time beneath the heavy cross, 
He was extremely weak and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had the strength to move. My outraged Jesus, by the weakness you suffered going to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and evil passions which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, and I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. Considering how our Lord was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners, the inner garments adhered to his lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly the skin came with them. My Lord, my innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments, help me to strip myself of all attachments to the things of earth, that I may place my love in you, who are so worthy of it. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, and I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Eleventh Station Consider our Lord Jesus when he was thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet to the cross, and then raising the cross, they left him to die in anguish. My despised Jesus, please nail my heart to the cross so that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you, Lord, and I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will, Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies Upon the Cross Our Lord, after three long hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering. Abandoning himself to the weight of his body, our Lord Jesus bows his head and dies. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for love of me. 
I deserve because of my sins to die a terrible death. But your death is my hope, Lord. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love of you. I yield my soul into your hands, Lord Jesus Christ. I love you with my whole heart, and I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. After our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus. They then placed his body in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with insurmountable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. O oh, mother of sorrows, for love of your son, accept me as your servant, and pray to him for me. And you, my Lord, since you have died for me, allow me to love you and desire you and nothing more. I love you, Lord, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fourteenth Station Jesus is placed in a holy sepulcher. The disciples carried the body of our Lord Jesus to its burial. His mother went with them and arranged it in a sepulcher with her own hands. They then closed the tomb and all departed. O oh, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that closes you in. But you gloriously did rise again on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection that I may be raised gloriously on the last day to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. I love you, Lord, and I repent of ever having offended you. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from Christ's side, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. 
Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy defend me. In the hour of my death call me. And bid me come unto thee, that I may praise thee with thy saints and with thy angels forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to you, my Lord Jesus Christ.